Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Nancy, and once again we are back in Planet Zoo again today but we are not in our usual Ranger Park Zoo project that we've been doing on the channel. I wanted to do something different today, something to sort of switch up uh, the schedule of the channel. So we're going to do a one-off build here, just a sort of big high scale build that's uh, something I wanted to do for a little while. Just uh, something a, a little bit fun and not necessarily within the realm of the uh, uh, Planet Zoo, you know, Ranger Park Zoo project where we're doing a lot of realism. So I wanted to step out of that a little bit, do something huge, a big natural cool build. So I saw this picture of uh, some bison in the uh, Yellowstone National Park the other day and it just got me a lot of inspiration to make this build. I have done a bison build in the past in uh, the Timber Gorge series if you did keep up with that one. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't really been in that zoo in a long time, so I just kind of wanted to step out here and sort of give it another shot to the, the bison build, because I'm not sure if we're going to do bison in the ranger park zoo, so I wanted to sort of have a chance to do a build, and I've been kind of wanting to do another bison build for a while, because it was a lot of fun to do a big natural open area for, you know, bison herds to run around in, so I took a lot of inspiration from Yellowstone National Park for this, and a few pictures I got from there. Um, and when you see the end result, you might see exactly what I'm talking about. But just sort of a short time lapse here to show you a little bit of this terraforming that I did. So what we're going to do for this is just build a lot of mountains with some dense forest around it. Just build a big natural area. It's not necessarily sort of a zoo thing. This is supposed to look like a national park here and uh, just something a little bit different than usual. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments. I had a lot of fun building it, just, uh, you know, going and just building something huge and not really worrying about the guests or the zoo and, you know, the future of the zoo and like the project that we're in. So it was kind of fun to just step out of that for a while and just build something big large scale supernatural that looks really cool i'm really happy with the results of this build i hope you guys like it too now we will be getting back into ranger park zoo next week of course um keeping up with the schedule this is something i just wanted to split up and do something a little different for once and if you guys do like these one-off builds here that uh, we did in this episode let me know in the comments um what kind of uh, one-off builds you would like to see in the future as sort of, you know, something that we can do every once in a while to sort of split up some of the content so we're not just doing the uh, Ranger Park Zoo every uh, week and everything. And maybe we can uh, do a couple a week if we get a lot of good ideas in here. And I have some time to do it and uh, it is a lot of fun to do. So I'd like to do some large scale builds of some other animals too, some natural looking builds like this one. So we're just about done with this first mountain here. Um, and it's starting to look great, but it's going to look better once we put in a lot of the other aspects of the build. We are going to put in a lake and a couple other mountains, another mountain range on the other side of the lake. And this is going to be huge. There's a lot of space for the bison to run around in. And uh, you're not going to see me necessarily put the bison in because I did cut out a lot of this time lapse footage because it was a ton of footage. And it was definitely um, a lot of just uh, rock placement, tree placement, terraforming, terrain paint, a lot of stuff that you would not necessarily want to see. So I just cut it out of the footage in general. So we'll have a little bit of a shorter time lapse portion in this. But to get the gist of it, it's just a lot of creating sort of a tree cluster and a few rock clusters and then copy and pasting them around, moving them, making them in different uh, angles and everything. And it just makes it look really natural. And that way you can do it without having to individually place every single little piece within the build that way you can kind of have these big groups that you're using as your templates so to say that you can just kind of copy paste everywhere mix them together put them in different places and it just looks a lot better and it takes a lot less time when you do it like that so if you're wondering how we did this that's sort of the gist of it and uh, the terraforming when you're like raising terrain right now to make the mountains it looks so ugly it looks so ugly when you first start out but you gotta stay with it put some rock work in, put some trees around it, do a little bit of terrain paint, and it'll start looking a lot more natural once you do stuff like that. Um, when you're starting out, it just looks bad, and it's like, how, how could I ever make it look good? Um, you just gotta put in the foliage and the rocks. It's pretty much the trick to it, because um, look at that, it looks nasty right now, but then we do some terrain paint, we do some uh, terraforming, make it look a little natural by kind of extending little, little arms out, like little slopes that you would see in sort of a natural footage. 
So for this build, it's just a lot of that, of course, and uh, I just really wanted to do something cool and big, and I really like building in this sort of northern, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like northeast, uh, well, northwest actually, like Pacific Northwest sort of style, lots of pines, mountains, and stuff like that, the mountain range, and in the taiga biome um, of the game, you know, the taiga biome. Uh, that we built in the Timber Gorge Zoo, but in the uh, Ranger Park Zoo series, we're doing the Tempered Biome. So, you know, the grass here looks a lot more yellow, the uh, and the stone looks a lot more pale. It just looks a lot more like north, uh, northwest, just northern North America sort of look. And that's sort of the style I like to build in a lot. So it was just nice stepping out and doing it again, um, even though we kind of been doing that a little bit with Grizzly Peak in the zoo and uh, everything. But here's a little bit. We're getting a lot closer to the final footage here as... Um, I did cut a little bit of time lapse there, but I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let it play. It has about another 15 seconds or so, and then we'll jump into the real time walkthrough. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright everybody, we are back in the real-time walkthrough of the episode and I just want to show off this great build for you guys and I'm so happy with the results. Just starting off here, just looking at it, it just looks fantastic. I love the natural look of it with the mountains. We got a lot of height variation here, a lot of dense foliage. And I think it just works really well. I'm really happy with the result. Now I just so I just kind of added in this little walkway here that is raised, put some rocks around it so that we kind of have a, a little area that the guests can go. Even though that there is uh, not really any use for guests to be here, it's sort of a Yellowstone style build. It's supposed to be like a natural park where I'd be setting this. So really having somewhere for guests isn't really that essential. Uh, most likely guests would be you know going through the park in their cars along you know trails. I've never really been to Yellowstone, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes after looking at some images, but I just wanted to add this in sort of for this these viewpoints for the for the video here as long as you know, still making it a Planet Zoo video, not just some, you know, build that's just there to not look at because it is it is really nice to look at and it's a huge space for the bison. They really love it and they're just kind of run everywhere and it goes all the way this way. So I'll hop out of uh, first person here because I think the, the majority of this build should be shot in this overhead cam but we can just get a nice look at it here and it's beautiful. A lot of the bison like to stay in this area because that's where I put the enrichment items mostly so that we can get these nice shots of the plains out here with the mountains in the background and sadly I mean this is all we can really do. The, the tall grass in this game only goes this high. I wish it would go a little taller because, you know, in, in all my reference picks and everything that I've sort of mentioned in the time lapse portion, um, it's it's just wide open area in these valleys along with these trees towards the mountain areas. So that's what I really wanted to go for here is just a big wide open area for the bison to run around in. And I, I think they do like it, uh, but it just looks a little, little bland. But I think the feeling works, or the look works because of just all these natural mountains that we built. This is the first one we built in the time lapse. I think it turns out great and it looks good. And then we have the lake here as well with uh, this mountain as well and sort of like a little bit of a mountain range there. And we get some nice shots of the bison down by the water here, just walking along here. And this is exactly what I was going for right here. I wanted to make a, a video of or a build just like a one-off build nothing crazy nothing attached to our series where I could just make something big scale not necessarily uh, you know super realistic for a zoo sense but realistic in a natural sense like this looks like something you would see at Yellowstone National Park or something and you'd see these uh, bison herds walking around in the valleys eating the grass and everything. And that's really what I wanted to go for here. Something a little different than usual because it's a lot of fun to make these big large-scale builds like this without sort of a uh, limitation to what you can do in terms of the big picture of a zoo and the realism aspect that we kind of do in Ranger Park Zoo and everything. So I, I don't think I could put this in Ranger Park Zoo. It's far too large. It takes up half the map here. Like, this is the map um, 
it takes up like the whole map. This is about as big as Ranger Park is right now, maybe if you include all the trees and just kind of square it off a little bit. But I mean, I'm just really happy with the results. I hope you guys like it too. It's just something fun to do, break up the monotony of just doing, you know, Ranger Park episodes after one after another. I know we like seeing the series, and of course you're going to see more of the series uh, next week. We're going to do another episode for that. But I just wanted to do a sort of bison exhibit because uh, I really like doing these big natural landscapes like this. And I think they look great. We kind of got like a couple little herds going on here. We got a little herd over here, some over here, some over here. Now I do have a ton in here. Um, that the game doesn't really allow you to do this many, but I, I did this many because it just helps fill up the space with the bison because it is a huge space and they get separated so quickly. But I hope you guys do like this little one-off build. If you guys want to see more of this instead of necessarily more of the Ranger Park series every week, I will still be doing the Ranger Park Zoo series. Um, to completion of course we're gonna finish that up and keep making videos but if you guys wanna have these kind of one-off shorter videos where we just do like a big large-scale build that's like not necessarily in the confines of the Ranger Park Zoo or any zoo project in general it's just kind of like a one-off build to look at um, that you know I can put on the workshop for you guys to download and just something cool to show off how beautiful this game really can be um, if you're not necessarily focusing on the zoo management aspect and just focusing on, you know, how good the foliage looks, the animals and their natural habitats and everything. And I think you can get some really nice results. And it's just fun doing stuff like this sometimes. A little one-off fun built. And uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun making it. Um, shorter one this week for you guys. Didn't want to do this, make this video too long because we have a ton of time lapse of uh, me building this. But I cut a lot of that footage out as you saw when you walked through it because it was just a lot of the same stuff placing rocks doing some terraforming terrain paint and putting trees down but i think it looks great and this is just a nice little picture to take right here if you wanted to have a nice picture of the build and it's big i can't even get the whole build in a picture maybe right here would be good but uh yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed it i will uh close off the video here let, let me know if you guys did enjoy this uh please let me know in the comments down below please like comment and subscribe as well if you haven't already stay tuned on the channel for more planet zoo content and i will see you guys in the next episode thanks again for watching